okay, Venus? Okay, Steve. Right. Let's go. Not Spanner, you tootie robot. Spanner, I'm a Spanner, I'm a Spanner, I'm a Spanner, I'm a. No, 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 no. Now then, Robin. No need to blow your top. Everything okay in there, Professor? Yep. Who is it? It's Sergeant Mahoney. It's Space City Patrol, Professor. 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 Professor! Yeah. Nice drop of penetrating oil will soon put you right. Professor! 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 Professor, are you okay, Professor? Of course I'm okay. Spanner. Spanner. Hammer. Um, uh... Heavy hammer. Heavy hammer. Yeah! <laughs> oh! Heavy hammer. Well, I've put Matic's dinner in the atom oven, but I don't think he'll turn up now. He seems to have forgotten all about eating since he's been working on this new project of his. I don't understand it. He's so fond of his food, as a rule. Just what is he up to in that workshop? It's weeks now. Top secret, Commander. He won't tell us a thing. Well, it must be something very special. Well, I'm through. Dead on schedule. On schedule. My very own time machine. <laughs> I see it myself. It's magnificent. Now, the question is, does it work? Now, uh, <laughs> let me see. What can I use to test it? Why, of course. Robert. Uh, uh, now, now, come on, Robert. It, it won't hurt a bit. In fact, <laughs> you should be honored. I'm going to transport you back in time. Get in time machine, Robert. Get in time machine, get in time machine. Close the door. Now, uh, let's see. How far back shall we go? Well, uh, <laughs> I've always had a hankering to live in the 19th century. So let's say, um, <clears throat> 1875. That's it. Now the power. Hold tight, Robert.
Deputy Sheriff around here. Can't I get a cup of coffee when I ask for it? something about getting him back, I guess. Hey, don't, 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 don't come any nearer. Hey, don't, 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 now don't come any nearer, I say. It's no use. You can't get in. I've locked the door. Dirty two-timing son of a ghost. <laughs> taking a look at what Professor Maddox's up to. Good idea, Commander. I'm kind of curious, too. Do you think he'll mind? Well, we've left him pretty much alone since we got back from patrol. I guess it's time to find out what he's up to. I'll get the hover car. Here's the key to my workshop. Now, nobody's to go in there till I'm ready to demonstrate my new invention. Understand? It's finished, then? It's finished. Yep. Tell me, Professor. I can keep a secret. What is it? Well, now you'll all find out soon enough when I demonstrate to everyone in front of the Interplanetary Patents Commissioner. He, uh, he's coming tomorrow, isn't he? He's coming, okay. Overnight from Saturn. Especially to see your new invention. <laughs> he won't have wasted a journey. Now, 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 don't forget. No one, positively no one, is to go inside that workshop. Understand? Okay, Professor. Yeah. Now, I, I must get some sleep. Come on, Robert. Oh, I sure am tired. <laughs> but, sir, the professor said no one was to go inside until the morning. Give me that key, Lieutenant. It's an order. It'll be okay, Lieutenant. Don't worry, Lieutenant. We'll explain to him. The key, Lieutenant, if you please. Okay, Commander. But I don't know what the professor will say. Don't touch. Leave it alone. No, no invention. No one, no one is to touch. Touch. So that's what all the mystery's about. Uh, what do you make of it, Steve? Well, let's take a look inside. Let's do that. Hmm. It looks like an artificial gravity test rig. Yeah, but uh, I've never seen one like this before. Well, if it's something Matt's made, that's not surprising. Hey, look, an antique coffee pot. It's still hot. Don't say after all this trouble that Matt is slyly making another coffee machine. Waste of public money. 
Oh, dear, look at Zuni. I must stop him. Matt will be furious. Oh, for Pete's sake, don't let him do any damage. <coughs> Zuni, Zuni, the door. Open the door. <coughs> Venus, can't you make him understand? <coughs> Isn't there a way out of this confounded contraption? Doesn't look like it. Guess we're stuck here until the morning. Ah, that stupid lazoon, he causes more trouble around here. And we've got no thruster packs. Steve, Steve, I can't see you. We are invisible. And my clothes, they're different. Commander Zero, are you here? What in tarnation is going on? My uniform, it's gone. Hey, I'm wearing a different outfit. I feel like I'm fading. Fading away. <laughs> Professor! Professor! Wake up! Hmm? What's going on? Professor! Steve! Venus and Commander Zero! They went into your workshop. Oh, gee, I... I'm sorry, Professor. You see, I gave them the key. Oh, no! Oh, don't tell me! Well, it's hard to believe, but you see, they... They just vanished! <laughs> it's no use crying, Zuni. Things are bad enough as they are. It's all your fault, Lieutenant. You had no right to let anyone, not even Steve or Commander Zero, have the key to this workshop. I'm afraid this is a matter for higher authority. Gee, Professor, I was only obeying orders, like I said. Yeah, okay, Lieutenant. Are you sure they all got lost in the time machine? Yeah, I'm positive. Even the antique coffee pot is gone. Add to all the other charges. Petty larceny. Can you get them back, Professor? Can you? Well, I'll, uh, I'll do my darndest. I got Robert back, but I don't exactly know how far back in time they've gone. Why, that crazy lazoon's been playing around with the dials. <laughs> Say, this is a pretty one-horse town. A bank. Saloon. Population non-existent, I'd say. Looks like I might have stopped off at the right place. Sheriff Zodiac. Hmm. Well, of all the luck, running into you, Frenchy Lou. You and me. <laughs> what a team. Now listen, Zero. It's a perfect setup. The bank wide open. Just waiting to be robbed. And I haven't even got a sheriff. Yeah, just that old fool Deputy Dodger. Just imagine. A town without a sheriff. Well, we're mighty glad to have you with us, Sheriff. Ain't we, Doc? Yes, sir. And I sure hope you'll stick around longer than all them other sheriffs. <laughs> well, if anyone does take a shot at me, I reckon you'll be able to fix me up, huh, Doc? And it's just way you're wrong, Sheriff. You see, he ain't no doctor of medicine. He ain't? I mean, he isn't. And just what is you a doctor of, Doc? Never did find out. Doctor literature! But folks around these parts ain't got much time for literature. Can't read. <laughs> so I, uh, yeah, I look after their money in the bank next door. Finest bank in the West. Ain't never been broke into yet. Oh, 
No one there, except our old four-legged friend yonder. Relax, Sheriff. There ain't no trouble around these parts. Been quiet for years and years. But all those names on the door. Just plain bored to death. <laughs> Mr. Deputy Dodgem. Yeah, how about it, Deputy? Well, I'll play him a latest song. Called it Cactus Key to California I State was the prettiest flower ever seen. This Frenchie Lil, does she operate alone? Used to, but I heard she's operating with a gunslinger they call Zero. Zero? That's odd. Seem to know that name. Yep. Her told that girl sure is dynamite. <laughs> My bank! Come on, fellas, let's go. Okay, come out with your hands up. Zero! Zero! I'm no doctor, but even I can see he's out for a long time. That book must have knocked him cold. It always was heavy reading. <laughs> okay, drop your gun, Sheriff. Frenchy Lil! Frenchy Lil? Where's the dough, Doc? Drop your gun, I said, Sheriff. She looks like someone I knew once. Or did I? Yes, the name is Frenchy Lil. One step more and I'll fill you full of lead, Sheriff Zodiac. When I left, the machine dial was set for 1875. Now look at it. 1066! Yeah, now the question is... Was it altered before or after they entered the time machine? Oh, if only this wretched lazoon could tell us. <laughs> You've got to get them back, Professor. You've got to. I I'm doing my best. But remember, one false move, and I could possibly lose them in time forever. Now, I think we should assume they didn't alter the setting. Now, let's see. 1875. I can't understand it. I'm sure I've seen her somewhere before, but she's different somehow. Say that once again, and I'll have to plug you. And that would be a pity, because I kind of like you, Zodiac. Quite a tidy hole. But then Frenchy Lil never misses out on a deal. Oh, oh, oh. My head! We're all set to go, I think. It's got to work. It's just got to! So long, Zodiac. Hope we meet again real soon. Look out! Ah! Zodiac, 
So long, pretty Frenchy Lyle. Well, of all the dirty double crossing. Oh, that zero sure is double dealer. How do we get out of here, Sheriff? That's what I'd like to know. <laughs> I'll increase the power. Well, Sheriff, any ideas for getting out? I wish I knew, fellas. I only wish I knew. Oh, no. Not again. I can't stand it. Oh, well, well, I'll be gone. I sure could do with a smoke right now. I'm a pipe. Oh, my pipe. I left it in the bank. Oh, gee. Am I glad to see you back. And you too, sir, of course, Commander. Where's Venus? She was with us. It's like a bad dream, but I remember she got slugged by Zero. Me? Did I do that? I'm afraid so, Commander. But what's happened to her? If she is unconscious, that's why she hasn't come back. Try increasing the power. It could burst the machine. We'll have to take a chance on that, Professor. She can't be transported through time in her present state. But you've got to get her back. She won't take much more. What I was afraid of. Ah, welcome home. Well, this is it, a gentleman. Thank goodness you're safe. But we've broken Matic's machine. Your bag safe and sound. That's all that matters, Venus. Uh, two gentlemen from the patent office to see the professor's machine. Haven't we met mm. before somewhere? Some time ago. Yes, sir. A long time ago. I wish I was a spaceman, the fastest guy alive. I'd fly you around the universe in Fireball XL5. Way out in space together, conquers of the sky. My heart would be a fireball, a fireball. Every time I gazed into your starry eyes, we'd take the path to Jupiter, and maybe very soon, we'd cruise along the Milky Way and land upon the moon to a wonderland of stardust. We'll zoom our way to Mars My heart would be a fireball A fireball Cause you would be my Venus of the stars 